Hello, I am Dr. Girish Nelivigi, urologist and andrologist from Nelivigi Multi Specialty and Urology Hospital in Bangalore. Hello, today I will be talking on cancer of the urinary bladder. As a urologist, I regularly see patients who have blood in the urine and they come to me for evaluation. Most of the causes of blood in the urine are because of stone and because of infection which means they are straightforward and are benign conditions. But rarely I see patients who have cancer of the bladder leading to blood in the urine. So cancer of the bladder usually occurs in elderly males but it can occur in the females also but most of the time cancers of the bladder are in the males the two aged males. What are the causes of cancer of the bladder? Most of the time the major agent implicated is tobacco. Tobacco especially a smoked tobacco which means a chronic smoker has got a high chance of getting cancer of the bladder as compared to non-smoker. Rarely there could be toxins released from factories and industries especially fertilizer industry, the dye industry, textile industry which are responsible for cancer of the bladder. As already told, the commonest presentation of cancer of the bladder is blood in the urine. The problem in diagnosing cancer of the bladder is many patients, they don't get blood in the urine on a regular basis. They just get blood in the urine, they get alarmed, but it just stops by itself without any treatment. So the patient feels that it is some minor condition and forgets all about it. The next episode of bleeding may occur after a few weeks, after a few months. So it happens a few times and then it becomes more regular at which point the patient gets alarmed and then comes to the doctor. When any patient with blood in the urine goes to a urologist, an ultrasound is compulsory. An ultrasound easily detects cancer of the urinary bladder. For further evaluation and delineation, we do CT scan to find out the diagnosis and also to see if it has spread deeper into the bladder or into the neighboring organs. The treatment of the cancer bladder consists first of cystoscopy where a small piece of the tumor is removed and it is sent for testing. This confirms whether it is cancer of the bladder or not. If the bladder cancer is small and it is superficial, an endoscopy and removal of the entire tumor is enough surgically to treat it. This is followed by some chemotherapy which is put into the bladder in regular intervals. However, if the cancer of the bladder is larger and deeper and if it is high grade, which means it is a very aggressive tumor, then endoscopic tumor is not enough. In such situation, a radical surgery called radical cystectomy is done. Radical cystectomy means removal of the entire urinary bladder and diverting the flow of urine either into the skin or into the urethra the way he was passing urine before. So depending on the type of diversions, it is either called a ileal conduit or neobladder. These details will be counseled and discussed with the urologist when the patient goes to the doctor. However, a majority of the cancer bladder patients do not require this major surgery. In fact, 80 to 90 percent of the patients with cancer bladder do well with minor endoscopic treatment which necessitates a hospital stay of just one day. However, just because the tumor is removed, it does not mean the treatment has ended because cancer of the bladder can come back. That's why regular consultation and follow-up with the urologist and follow of the advice is essential to safeguard our life. Thank you.